Good morning. Starting my day off with an oat milk coffee on Abby's recommendations. It smells really good. I can't wait to try it, but it's very hot at the minute. So I'll let you know whether I'm converted. Ava, what are you doing? What are you doing in there? Is it good? Wow, what have you got? What have you got there, Missies? What have you got? What have you got there? What have you got there, Chicky Girl? What have you got? Oh, do you like those balls? Hi, yeah. Ava. Ava. No, she's too interested in the balls. She's not bothered about mummy. What shapes are you doing? Show me those shapes. Yeah. Go on then. What shapes have you got? A square. A square? Show me the square. Hmm? Show me the square. Wow, what colour is your square? Good boy. What other shapes have you got? Red. What? What's that shape? Red. What's the red shape? A circle. Circle. Good boy. What other shapes have you got? Um, green, um, triangle. green triangle. Good boy. Have you got any more shapes? Um, here. What's that one? Um, circle. Circle. Um. Any more? Or is that all of them? Wow. There's a hammer's out. Um, what animals can you see? What animals can you see on there? What's this one? I want hammers. What's this animal? I want hammers. I know you want the hammers, but what's this animal? Oh, I need to get the hammers out. You don't need to get the hammers out. Tell me what these animals are. Mm -hmm. What's this one? Lion. Lion. How does a lion go? Rawr. It's a very quiet lion. What's this animal here? Giraffe. A giraffe, yeah. He's big, tall giraffe. What's this? So sign. Good boy. And what's this? Do you know what that one is? Octopus. Octopus, good boy. And what's this one? Butterfly. Butterfly, well done. You are a clever boy. What is that? Circle. Circle. It's a bead. It's a red bead. Good evening. Um, now I have to confess, I've been a bit rubbish today and I haven't done many videos. We've had another good day. Um, Leah pushed the boundaries a little bit with the schoolwork today, uh, which is a shame because she's been really good the um the last couple of days but I think it was because Steve's at home and she likes to see what she can get away with with Steve because she is his princess but anyway um she did knuckle down and get it done so and I can't I cannot believe that we're almost at the end of the first week back after half term and we've only got one more week of homeschooling after this before they actually go back on the 8th of March I feel like we've just started to get into some sort of routine that works for us and they're going to take them back to school and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think I'll have to look back on uh, some of my vlogs to just remind myself how awful it's been and then I'll feel better. And I'm sure it's right for her too. She needs to see her friends and she needs some normality. So... After school, we went for a walk because the sun has been shining. And also, the mornings are getting light and it's going darker later at night. And I feel like that's having such a positive effect on my mood. Like the extra daylight hours, I don't feel so bad getting up in the morning. Mm, I do still feel pretty tired, but it's bearable because it's light and 
I don't feel so shattered in the evenings because again it's still light um so yeah that's been really good but anyway it's been sunny today so we've been for a walk and that was nice um and so steve has been home too again a bonus and i thought to myself this evening oh i might just have a really relaxing bath put a face mask on and just chill out for half an hour so found this face mask that i had for christmas chocolate cocoa butter something else all ingredients that i've used before anyway so popped this face mask on um never had any problems with face masks before literally 30 seconds into having it on it was burning not just a little sting burning to the point where i thought this is going to peel my skin off is it meant to do this is it like a chemical peel and I haven't realised. Anyway, frantically washed it off and it felt better. And luckily my skin has survived, but oh my God, I'm pretty sure it shouldn't have felt like that. And my face is bright red when I first took it off. Thank goodness I survived and haven't had like an anaphylactic shock or anything crazy because, you know, that wouldn't have been ideal. So, just goes to show that I'm not supposed to relax. Even when the opportunity arises, things just don't work out for me. So, I don't think I'll be in a hurry to uh, repeat that. It's traumatised me a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I am um, going to just relax on the sofa for a bit now. Maybe put something on TV. And just chill until the babies wake up which probably won't be too long and i hope you've had a good day and i will see you tomorrow bye bye